Hello everyone, this is Dhammi sir here. So today we are going to continue with chapter 3 of grade 11 maths which is trigonometric functions. And uh, in today's video we will learn about trigonometric functions of sum and difference of two angles. Okay, we have learned trigonometric function for individual angles. But today we are going to learn trigonometric functions for sum and difference of two angles. So let's start. Now, an angle made up of sum of difference of two different, two or more angles is called a compound angle. Okay, and the bases yield in this direction are called trigonometric identities and we have few trigonometric identities enlisted below. First is sin A plus B which is equal to sin A cos B plus cos A sin B. Then we have sin A minus B which is equal to sin A cos B minus cos A sin B. Then cos A plus B is cos A cos B minus sin A sin B. Cos A minus B is cos A cos B plus sin A sin B. Then we have tan A plus B which is equal to tan A plus tan B upon 1 minus tan A tan B. Then we have tan A minus B which is equal to tan A minus tan B upon 1 plus tan A tan B. So pause and note down these identities. Next we have cot A plus B equals to cot A cot B minus 1 upon cot A plus cot B. Next is cot A minus B which is equal to cot A cot B plus 1 upon cot B minus cot A. Then we have sin 2A which is equal to 2 sin A cos A which is equal to 2 tan A upon 1 plus tan square A. So we have two entities for sin 2A. Then we have cos 2A which is equal to cos square A minus sin square A or 1 minus 2 sin square A or 2 cos square A minus 1 or 1 minus tan square A upon 1 plus tan square A. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4 identities for cos 2A. Coming to tan 2A, tan 2A is equal to 2 tan A upon 1 minus tan square A. Done. Then sin 3A which is equal to 3 sin A minus 4 sin cube A and cos 3a which is equal to cos cube a minus 3 cos a. Clear? So pause and note down these identities. Next is tan 3a. So tan 3a is equal to 3 tan a minus tan cube a upon 1 minus 3 tan square a. Next we have cos a plus cos b which is equal to 2 cos a plus b upon 2 cos a minus b upon 2. Cos a minus cos b equals to 2 sin a plus b upon 2 sin b minus a upon 2. Then sin a plus sin b equals to 2 sin a plus b upon 2 cos a minus b upon 2. And sin a minus sin b is equal to 2 cos a plus b upon 2 sin a minus b upon 2. Next we have 2 sin a cos b which is equal to sin a plus b plus sin a minus b. Then 2 cos a sin b equals to sin a plus b minus sin a minus b. Then we have 2 cos a cos b which is equal to cos a plus b plus cos a minus b. Then we have 2 sin a sin b which is equal to cos a minus b minus cos a plus b. So pause and note down these identities. Next we have sin a by 2 half angle. This sin a by 2 is equal to plus minus under root 1 minus cos a upon 2. Now we will take positive is a by 2 lies in the first or second quadrant. And we will take negative if a by 2 lies in the third or fourth quadrant. Next we have cos a by 2 which is equal to plus minus 1 under root 1 plus cos a upon 2. Again it will be positive if a upon 2 lies in the first or fourth quadrant. And it will be negative is if a upon 2 lies in the third, second or third quadrant. Then we have tan a by 2 which is equal to plus minus under root 1 minus cos a upon 1 plus cos a. This will be positive if a by 2 lies in the first or third quadrant and this will be negative if a upon 2 lies in the second or fourth quadrant. So pause and note down these identities. Before I start the exercise let me put it very clear that you have to remember these identities because if you are not able to remember the identity then you can't be able to solve the sums. Okay, so remember those identities given above. So let's start exercise 3.3. And the question 1 is prove that sin square pi by 6 plus cos square pi by 3 minus tan square pi by 4 will be equal to minus half. Now we know that sin pi by 6 equals to 1 by 2, cos pi by 3 is equal to 1 by 2, and tan pi by 4 equals to 1. So putting these values in the left hand side, we get LHS equals to 1 by 2 square plus 1 by 2 square minus 1 by, sorry, 1 square which is equal to 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 minus 1 equals to half minus 1 which is equal to minus half and which is equal to our RHS. Clear? Hence we proved that the LHS equals to RHS. So pause and note down the proof. Next we have question number 4. Prove that 2 sin square 3 pi by 4 plus 2 cos square pi by 4 plus 2 sec square pi by 3 equals to 10. 
now we know that sin 3 pi by 4 will be equal to what sin 4 pi minus 5 upon 4 that is sin pi minus 5 by 4 and sin pi minus theta equals to sin theta and sin pi by 4 ki value value is 1 upon root 2 done then we have cos pi by 4 equals to 1 upon root 2 and sec pi by 3 is equal to 1 upon root 2 so putting all these values in the LHS we get LHS equal to 2 multiplied by 1 upon root 2 square plus 2 multiplied by 1 upon root 2 square plus 2 into 2 square which is equal to 1 plus 1 plus 8 equals to 10 and this was our right hand side clear so pause and note down the solution next we have question 5 find the value of sin 75 and sin sorry tan 10 15 degree so I solve the second part for you tan 15 degree now this 15 degree can be written as the difference of two angles which is 45 and 30 so tan 15 degree equals to tan 45 minus 30 so using the identity of tan x minus y which is tan x minus tan y upon 1 plus tan x tan y we get tan 45 minus tan 30 upon 1 plus tan 45 tan 30 so putting all the values we get 1 minus 1 upon root 3 upon 1 plus 1 into 1 upon root 3 which is equal to root 3 minus 1 upon root 3 plus 1 now since we cannot leave the square root in the denominator we have to rationalize so multiplying and dividing by root 3 minus 1 upon root 3 minus 1 we get root 3 minus 1 whole square upon root 3 square minus 1 square which is equal to 3 plus 1 minus 2 root 3 upon 3 minus 1 that is 4 minus 2 root 3 upon 2 which is equal to 2 minus root 3 so we have used the identity for tan x minus y in the particular sum clear so pause and note down the solution moving to question 7 prove that tan pi by 4 plus x upon tan pi by 4 minus x will be equal to 1 plus tan x upon 1 minus tan x whole square so taking the left hand side lhs equals to tan pi by 4 plus x upon tan pi by 4 minus x so applying the entry tan x plus y in the numerator and tan x minus y in the denominator we get tan pi by 4 plus tan x upon 1 minus tan pi by 4 tan x upon tan pi by 4 minus tan x upon 1 plus tan pi by 4 tan x so putting the value of tan pi by 4 we get 1 plus tan x upon 1 minus tan x divided by 1 minus tan x upon 1 plus tan x so which will be equal to 1 plus tan x divided by 1 minus tan x multiplied by 1 plus tan x upon 1 minus tan x so you can see that it will be equal to 1 plus tan x whole square upon 1 minus tan x whole square which is our right hand side clear so in the same sum we have used two different identities one is tan x plus y in the numerator and the other is tan x minus y in the denominator clear so pause and note down the solution next we have question number 10 prove that sin n plus 1x into sin n plus 2x plus cos n plus 1x into cos n plus 2x will be equal to cos x so first we have to think the given sum is in the form of which identity so if you look closely to the LHS you can simply say that this will be in the form of cos x minus y so we have LHS equals to sin n plus 1x n plus 2x plus cos n plus 1x into cos n plus 2x so putting n plus 1x as a and n plus 2x as b we get LHS equals to sin a sin b plus cos a cos b which is what cos a cos b plus sin a sin b equals to cos a minus b and finally putting the value of a, a and b we get cos n plus 1x minus n plus 2x which is equal to cos nx plus x minus nx minus 2x which will be equal to cos minus x and we know that cos minus theta is equal to what cos theta so therefore our RHS was cos theta hence we get LHS equals to RHS clear so pause and note down the solution moving to question 13 we have to prove that cos square 2x minus cos square 6x will be equal to sin 4x sin 8x now we have LHS that is cos square 2x minus cos square 6x now we have learned that sin square x minus sin square y is equal to is equal to sin x plus y into sin x minus y but cos square x minus cos square y is not equal to cos x plus y cos x minus y okay so now this cos square 2x can be written as 1 minus sin square 2x and cos square 6x can be written as 1 minus sin square 6x so we get sin square 6x minus sin square 2x now applying the identity sin square a minus sin square b equals to sin a plus b into sin a minus b we get sin 6x plus 2x and sin 6 minus 2x which is equal to sin 8x into sin 4x 
and this was our RHS. Clear? So pause and note down the solution. Next is question 15. Prove that cot 4x sin 5x plus sin 3x will be equal to cot x sin 5x minus sin 3x. So taking the LHS which is cot 4x multiplied by sin 5x plus sin 3x. So in the bracket we have sin x plus sin y. Okay, we have, so we have to apply the anti of sin c plus sin d which is equal to 2 sin c plus d upon 2 cos c minus d upon 2. So we get cot 4x into 2 sin 5x plus 3x upon 2 and cos 5x minus 3x upon 2 which is equal to now cot 4x can be written as cot a, cos 4x upon sin 4x into 2 sin 4x cos x. So we get 2 cos 4x cos x equals to our LHS. Taking the RHS, RHS was equal to cot x sin 5x minus sin 3x. Now sin c minus sin d is equal to what? 2 cos c plus d upon 2 sin c minus d upon 2. So this can be written as cot x into 2 cos 5x plus 3x upon 2 and sin 5x minus 3x upon 2. And cot x can be written as cos x upon sin x. So this becomes equals to cos x upon sin x into 2 cos 4x sin x. So which is equal to 2 cos x cos 4x. So from the two equations we can simply say that the LHS equals to RHS. Hence proved. Clear? So pause and note down the solution. Moving to question 18. Prove that sin x minus sin y upon cos x plus cos y will be equal to tan x minus y upon 2. Now, so taking the LHS sin x minus sin y upon cos x plus cos y. So in the numerator we have sin c minus sin d and in the denominator we have cos c plus cos d. So applying the identity we get 2 cos x plus y upon 2 sin x minus y upon 2 and in the denominator we get 2 cos x plus y upon 2 cos x minus y upon 2. So cos x plus y upon 2 in the numerator and denominator get cancelled. So we are left with sin x minus y upon 2 divided by cos x minus y upon 2 and since sin upon cos equals to 10. So this will be equal to what? 10 x minus y upon 2 which was our RHS. Hence proved. Clear? So pause and note down the solution. Going to question 21. Prove that cos 4x plus cos 3x plus cos 2x divided by sin 4x plus sin 3x plus sin 2x will be equal to cos 3x. So taking the LHS we have cos 4x plus cos 2x plus cos 4 3x upon sin 4x plus sin 2x plus sin 3x. So using the identity for cos c plus cos d and sin c plus sin d the numerator and denominator we get 2 cos 4x plus 2x upon 2 into cos 4x minus 2x upon 2 plus cos 3x divided by 2 sin 4x plus 2x upon 2 and cos 4x minus 2x upon 2 plus sin 3x which is equal to 2 cos 3x cos x plus cos 3x upon 2 sin 3x cos x plus sin 3x. So we can take cos x common from the numerator and sin x sin 3x common from the denominator. We get cos 3x multiplied by 2 cos x plus 1 and sin 3x into 2 cos x plus 1. So which we are left with cos 3x upon sin 3x which is equal to cot 3x. Clear? So pause and note down the proof. Next is question number 22. Prove that cot x cot 2x minus cot 2x cot 3x minus cot 3x cot x equals to 1. Now we know that 3x equals to 2x plus x. So cot 3x will be equal to cot 2x plus x. So applying the identity in the RHS for cot x plus y. So we get cot 3x equals to cot 2x cot x minus 1 upon cot x plus cot 2x. Since cot a plus b is equal to what? Cot a cot b minus 1 upon cot b plus cot a. Clear? So multiplying we get cot 3x multiplied by cot x plus cot 2x equals to cot 2x cot x minus 1. So opening the bracket we get cot 3x cot x plus cot 3x cot 2x equals to cot 2x cot x minus 1. So taking everything transposing we get cot x cot 2x minus cot 2x cot 3x minus cot 3x cot x equals to 1. This proves the given sum. Clear? So pause and note down the solution. Next we have question number 25. Prove that cos 6x is equal to 32 cos power 6x minus 48 cos power 4x plus 18 cos square x minus 1. Now we know that cos 2a is equal to 2 cos square a minus 1. So putting a equals to 3x we get cos 6x equals to 2 cos square 3x minus 1. 
and cos 3 theta is equal to what? 4 cos cube theta minus 3 cos theta. Applying that over here, we get 2 into 4 cos cube x minus 3 cos x whole square minus 1. So applying whole square, that is a minus b whole square, we get 2 into 16 cos power 6x minus 24 cos power 4x plus 9 cos square x minus 1. So opening the bracket, we get 32 cos power 6x minus 48 cos power 4x plus 18 cos square x minus 1. This proves the given sum. So pause and note down the solution. With this, we end exercise 3.3. So solve the remaining sums and don't forget to solve the very 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 important examples given before the exercise. Clear? So thank you and all the best.